And right now we do want to get back to our Kimberly Gill, who is live in London, experiencing this historic moment live and in person. Kimberly, thanks for joining. Yes, absolutely. Priya, thank you for uh, having us. It is. It's a one in a generation event here. I want to bring in uh, photojournalist Tim Pamplin because as many of you know, uh, he is our resident Brit. He is from here. And just Tim, you've got some really interesting observations of our time here. We arrived yesterday and we've been able to talk to people. Right. What are your thoughts? It's just been incredible, Kimberly, to see the outpouring of love and support for the royal family from across the globe, as we mentioned earlier, people from Ghana, people from down under in Australia, New Zealand, across the planet, just coming here with one thing in goal, and that is to show their respect uh, to the Queen, to Her Majesty the Queen, and, and to the British royal family. It's just very, very moving. It is moving, and we were able to talk to uh, a lot of people yesterday, as you said. Uh, even a woman from uh, had come had come here from Metro Detroit to pay her final respects. Right behind me is the line of people that continues to file in here. Some estimates have that line still at about five miles long. So taking so long to get inside, but people are still patient. A lot going on in the city, streets being blocked off, security really, really tight. Yeah, security is a very important <laughs> issue here. Let's get on this. This is going to be the biggest security operation the Metropolitan Police have ever had to handle, far bigger than anything else. This entire city of 9 million people basically is going to grind to a halt starting sometime this afternoon. Just heard that uh, the Emperor of Japan uh, has, is on his way, almost about to arrive into Heathrow here. When people like that and the and President Biden, of course, this entire town will shut down for the next two days. Yeah. People that were in line here recently just uh, got a treat because Prince William was greeting some of the folks that had been standing in line for a really long time over, uh, which is not too far. Like I could see the hall right down the, the way there. Uh, he was greeting some folks that were in line. They're actually going to have a vigil tonight about 730. The grandchildren are similar to what the children did yesterday. So we'll be covering that for later editions of Local 4 News and on Local 4 Plus. Until then, we're going to send it back to you in Detroit. Reporting live in London, Kimberly Gill, Local 4. All right, thank you, Kim. And I, th I think I can hear bagpipes yeah. off in the distance as well. You do? Yeah, yeah. This is an incredible scene there. It, right. it really is. It's, it's the sounds, it's the sights and the sounds, of course. It's not just the visuals, the sounds. And inside, inside Westminster Hall, the, uh, the uh, Lord uh, Deddington told us yesterday, just silence. And that's absolutely appropriate at this time, of course. And Tim, that's one thing that really struck me when I was watching video out of the UK. You see the, the noise and the camaraderie outside, but then pin drop silence as folks enter Westminster Hall and pay their respects. It really is remarkable how well they're doing with security and how patient people are being. It, standing in line this long, and guys, it is, it's, it's a beautiful day, but it's a little chilly out sure. here. The weather is nice, uh, but people are, are very patient and uh, have very pleasing you know, things to say, of course, about the Queen. Uh, and that's just really been wonderful, considering everything that is going on uh, and, and just a period of mourning, you know. So, uh, so yeah, it's great to have uh, photojournalist Tim Pamplin here, resident Brit. Yeah. And uh, we've just been going around and talking to folks. I would be remiss if I didn't say how, <laughs> how honored and blessed and thankful I am to be able to be here and for us to both literally have a front row seat to history. to history just wonderful really absolutely really and as Guys, you we'll send it back to you in detroit yeah. for sure and as they both mentioned uh, king charles and prince william also greeting mm -hmm. uh, folks who are waiting in line this morning yes. and we've